Good morning, everybody. It's Ben Jones here with the Batter from Bronson Coffee Roasters. Um, to the astute observer, you'll notice that I'm not in my workshop today. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in April, and I got up early, decided to come to the lake and do some fishing. Um, but I want to talk about coffee and how to learn to make a better cup of coffee. This is going to be a much more philosophical video, a uh, little ph philosophy chat. Um, I learned to make coffee much the way I'm learning to fish. They're very similar activities. Um, it's, there's that, that common saying, which I absolutely believe in, that a bad day on the river is better than most days in the office. I happen to have a pretty nice office to work in, so still, you know, it's still work, but a day at the river, can't beat that. Um, and, you know, a cup of coffee is better than no cup of coffee, and if we can make it a better cup of coffee, that's great. That's one similarity. The other piece is gear. Um, I'm gonna make myself a little AeroPress while I, while I chit chat, um, since we're talking gear. Um, today I'm gonna use, um, I have brought with me my AeroPress Go. It all comes in this nice little container. Um, we have the traditional AeroPress at Batter from Bronson, but um, the Go is fantastic if you, um, you guys, just a little bit shorter, same basic idea. Anyway, gear with, uh, with coffee, if you've been watching the videos, you know, in my workshop, you see my setup and I've got a lot of pretty serious bits of equipment. Um, that's only a small fraction of what I have um, because I've been doing this for a long time and I like to collect the fun toys. So I've got quite a bit of um, time, money, energy, and space invested in stuff. Fishing, I haven't been fishing, like really fishing since I was a kid. And I decided to jump right into this full bore and I'm, I'm fly fishing. So I went um, I had inherited this rod and this reel. I had no idea if they were any good. I didn't know much about them. Uh, it didn't have any line on it yet. And so what did I do? I, uh, I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna do this. So I got on YouTube, talked to a few friends. Um, I really wanted to kind of check it out and learn on my own to see what's happening. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Learned a little bit from watching other people do it. There's a lot of opinions about how to do this properly, uh, what type of equipment to use. My goodness, there's even a huge fight between some fisher people, you know, fly casters versus bait casters. Um, you know, espresso versus drip. Um, I've got a real healthy rivalry with a good friend. Um, AeroPress versus V60. Um, they're all good and great. Point being, I started my fishing education with a with an inherited rod i did have to put a little bit of money into some new line because that's what you have to do um but that's great you know i did that and here we are so i have minimal investment but watching i can see you know watching videos some of these people have <laughs> fly rods that are worth more than my car um they're kitted out in uh you know all kinds of gear that is <laughs> the, 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 it's just boggles my mind um, and I'm not ready for that type of thing and I can go out and I can have a beautiful day oh here I'm going to see what I'm doing so I just have my, my hot water um, in my thermos and I'm just adding it to my AeroPress um, I could have brewed it up and put it in here but I like to have it nice and fresh so you know if you're fishing or doing coffee the gear problem is it's a reality. You can either just, I got a lot of friends that are just, yeah, I've got a little $4 plastic cone and I use my, uh, you know, use my tea kettle for that. And that's great. And then I have other people who, uh, you know, just went out and bought a $75 drip assist kind of thing to help with their pour overs. Um, who's having the better cup of coffee and who's having more fun doing it? I think they both are. So here I am fishing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 
I've watched a lot of videos and I can say a few things about what you're supposed to do. But do I know? I really don't know. Um, and I didn't know until I started doing it. I still don't know very much. But, uh, you know, when I was learning, I learned there's different types of fly line. I didn't know that you had to match your fly line and your leaders to how big how big your little fishy hook guy is. Um, turns out, if I put too big of a hook on too small of a line, everything falls apart, and vice versa. Um, but, you know, in coffee, I forget that there's a lot of things that I've learned over the years that I kind of take for granted that people know that, and no one told me with, you know, fishing to match my hooks to my line. And there's a lot of things about coffee that we don't, you know, don't anticipate having to share. But here I am, I'm sitting at a lake. Um, I've seen about six fish jump and take small little gnats as I'm chatting here, they're all around. So I might have to abandon you shortly. But one of my favorite artists, you may have heard of him, his name is Pablo Picasso. He, uh, he also, he, he drew and painted some of my favorite little sketches but he also said one of my favorite things, and that is, I'm always doing things I can't do, and that's how I get to do them. And I really love that idea. When you're learning to make good coffee, the most important thing is to do it, to try it. I started reading and watching fly fishing videos back in like I don't know, September and it wasn't until January or February that I actually made it out onto the water. You're never gonna get to doing something until you just do it. So with coffee brewing my advice is first of all find some coffee that you have tasted before and you like it. Play with the equipment you have. Oh, there's one right there they're real close. Um, and just do it. Don't uh, don't be intimidated by other people doing more things, bigger things, different things, having different equipment. Oh, they're really getting out. The uh, you know you have to zip up and do it. You have to make it happen. You have to play with it. Um, and again, don't sweat the technique. The technique will come. My technique for podcasting is off. I'm not even going to show you. That's how bad it is. Um, I think I caught. I already caught the dock twice, um, <laughs> casting back behind me, but anyway, um, all that to say, don't, don't sweat if it takes you a while to get things tasting good. And if you do something that tastes nice, do that again. Explore some different coffees, talk to some people, just get out and do it. All right. So thanks for joining today. Um, I'm gonna try to, well, I don't know if I'm gonna try to catch one. Here's the other thing is that people fish for different reasons, people drink coffee for different reasons. I really like the flavor. I'd be okay if there wasn't caffeine in here, I think. When it comes to fishing, I don't have a huge motivation to catch the fish. I just really enjoy being out here with them. I like the meticulous nature of tying the little, you know, super tiny strings together, learning new knots. Um, I like learning about the different species of fish. I like learning about the habits of their food. I like learning about the ecosystems in which they live. I like getting in my car and driving for two hours, too early in the morning to sit freezing cold someplace, just to breathe in some fresh air. So, all right. Very philosophical chit chat today about how to make coffee by fishing, I guess. So, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Let me get back to work. So, if the boss is watching, this isn't my whole day. I'm just I'm gonna do a little bit here, then go back to to my home office and get some work done. So, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, ben Jones, Batter from Bronson. Take care.